this is Joshua Hart here for Seconds Out. Delighted today to be in London, joined by Johnny Fisher's head coach, Mr. Mark Tibbs. Mark, it's fight week. Here we are. How is everything? Lovely, Josh. Good to meet you in person. We've done a Zoom a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, not been too long since the Zoom, but those two weeks have come around very quickly. It's now the first day of fight week, just two days to go. How did the rest of camp go with Johnny Fisher? Yeah, it went well. I think we might have had one or two spars uh, to finish off. And they went very, very well, happy with them. And uh, fantastic, we're here now. And uh, it's, it's, it's come around so, so, so quick. So gonna be a great night, Saturday night. Tough night, but a good night. We just had the final press conference. Uh, a, a very calm version of Johnny Fisher. We can't necessarily say the same for Alan Babich. What did you make of his behavior up there? Well, the behavior from, 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 from Babich was what I expected. Uh, I'm, I'm over the moon with Johnny as in not biting, not getting too, or not getting emotionally involved. And uh, we don't need to, we've got to be technical, we've got to be professional. This ain't, we ain't working on the doors. This is professional boxing. You know. That is the worst things that th things, uh, people say to me, he, he's punched hard. Do you think I never fought a guy who punches hard? Do you actually believe that? I, my first heavy fight was when I was 21. So you think I never fought a guy who punches hard? You think I never saw, uh, like, I mean, you know who I spar, you know what I do. I never fight a guy, like, with his kind of power. What the fuck is that about? I'm just saying what they say. No, it's bullshit. Everybody says, like, oh, he punches hard. Bro, I've been doing this for 13 years. My, my head is like a mashed potato inside. <laughs> so what the fuck about punching hard? Of course he punches hard. Look at him. He's fucking, a fucking giant. I told you the first time, I like to kill giants. I would like it if he's bigger. I thought he was bigger, actually. John, let me ask you, do you really think I never faced somebody strong in the ring? Do you really actually believe that? Because no, I think you have. This been this crazy shit people talk about. I've never seen the, the, that kind of puncher. What the fuck are you talking I about? I think you have, and you got knocked out in one round, one time when you did. What? He was the, the, the easiest puncher of them all. <laughs> So, oh yeah, what's going to happen when I do oh it? Oh, my God. This guy is such denial. And also, I'm going to have 10-ounce gloves on. That's going to be a... Uh, oh, my... Yeah, another thing I never it. saw in my life. Oh, my God, Eddie, are we fighting with 10 ounces? Oh, don't fuck, fuck, no. I'm out of this fight. Fuck this shit. Fuck this shit like I never saw. Somebody who punches hard. What the fuck? I mean, it's just ridiculous. Your coach, you tell him. You saw me spar with Dillian White when I was 88 fucking kilos. He was 120. Was that a tough sparring? Was that a tough fucking sparring? It's a simple question. You're asking me, let me answer. Listen, this is a great fight, you one tough son of a bitch. <laughs> Thank you. you are Can't close. But Let's go on the undercard. Just remember. And what can we expect from Johnny Fisher on Saturday night? You can expect. Uh, A technical, a technical, tactical domination before we beat him, Babich, that is, at his own game. I like it, I like it. Something that's been highlighted is this step up for Johnny Fisher, um, especially with the limited amateur background that he's got. Could you say a lot of his growth has been down to the... The, the frequent high-level sparring that he's been getting with these top-level heavyweights, could that be such a big reason for his growth? His big reason for his growth is his, because he's, he wants to do it. He wants to put himself in them positions. Yeah, himself. You can't just beg people to do this and do that because you know, you know what, what's good for him. He wants to do it. He wants to put him in themselves in them positions. To be fair, some of them positions, some of them situations, you have to go, well, hold up, Johnny. No, 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 no give it... You know, not, not today, son. Next week, or next month, or next year, even. <laughs> but but he is of that mindset. He's a he's a very 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 um, work ethic is incredible. And then you've also got John Hedges in a first title fight, Southern Area title against Lewis Oakford. What can we expect from John Hedges come Saturday night? John Hedges is is, is like I say all the time. He's he's, he's just he's uh, he is boxing running through his blood. He's just. He can see all these guys in his sleep, if you know what I'm saying. He's a natural fighter, like Tyson Fury. Yeah. And uh, comes through Saturday night, because Oakman ain't no walkover. He wants to come to win. 
he's, 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 he's got to stay classy, stay classy, yeah? And, uh, and he will grow and believe more in what, 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 what more's out there for him as a professional fighter. And also, he had that year out with the hand injury, but how good has it been to have him back, especially up at cruiserweight now, new weight? How, how, I guess, how beneficial has this move to cruiserweight been for him? Well, he's, uh, he's, he's filling out, he's getting physically strong. He's, uh, his man strength is coming through. He's, uh, he's doing some, yeah, he's, uh, his, phys- his man strength's coming through, and, uh, and it's natural. We can't, we can't hinder that man strength. It's just got to let it, let it happen. Just got to let it happen, and uh, I have to be there for certain times to, to chuck him in and let him feel the heat sometimes, and, and give him easy days and, and, and things like that. But that's, that's 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 what we do. That's what we're here for. Uh, that's why he's got a coach, boxing coach, and a, an SSC coach is Sonny Cannon, and and a, and a great manager in Adam Morali. He's just he's, he's there. So uh, so yeah so. You know, he's a, he's a great, he's a great uh, young man to work with, Johnny Edges. But let me tell you something: man's going all the way to the very, very top. And then just moving away from this card, since we last spoke, we have had the official announcement now for Anthony Joshua versus Daniel Dubois. Do you feel this is the right time for Daniel Dubois to be, to be getting his hands on Anthony Joshua? He is. He is. Yes, it's a it's a great uh, great opportunity uh, for Daniel Dubois. I mean, he's had so many. He's had some good opportunities. Uh, that young man, and he's young, and he's young, and uh, and I feel he's got a little bit of a psychological edge over over uh, Anthony Joshua. If that was true, what happened in sparring many years ago? Uh, for me, um, Dubar has only just started to look good. Ain't so, so it doesn't give me as a fan uh, too much confidence because of Anthony's wealth of experience. So, so I'll make Anthony favourite, Joshua, the favourite in that fight, but I wouldn't be surprised if Daniel pulls it off. And if Anthony Joshua is to pull this off and become a three-time heavyweight champion of the world, say again. if Anthony Joshua is to pull this off and yeah. become a three-time heavyweight world champion, where would you say he ranks in the all-time greats of heavyweights? Oh, he's up there, isn't he? He's, he's up there because he's been at it so long. He's uh, been an Olympic champion. Uh, so he's up there. For sure, yeah, of course he is. He's uh, he's been in around the world with them all, and uh, yeah, no, he'd be up there for sure. Yeah. How much do you feel he's improved since joining Ben Davison? Well, do you know something? When he was with Robin McCracken, that's where he did it all. Get me? He did it all, and then when he split up with Robert uh, McCracken, I'm not sure who he was with, and he looked a bit confused at that period and, and a little bit too fancy. And it weren't going too well for him. But in that Nganu fight, he looked like he's got it all back again. But let's remember, Nganu is a UFC fighter and not a boxer who knows how to slip, whoop, who knows how to read fights. So, so we've got to put all that into put to perspective. But what we have got to be thankful for, he's got it back again, as is Joshua. Joshua, I've got to go. Okay, no worries, Mark. Thank, Thank you, you very mate. much, God mate. You, sir. Good to see you.